As the anticipation builds and the floodlights of Atatürk Stadium gleam with promise, one question lingers in the air. Can Inter Milan, the sleeping giants of Serie A, wake to surprise the world in the Champions League final? Against formidable opposition, in an arena where legends are born and myths are shattered, Inter stands at the brink of rewriting history. The Nerazzurri, fueled by passion and resilience, are ready to defy the odds. Can they channel their spirit and etch a new, triumphant chapter in the Champions League's storied saga? Stay tuned as we explore this fascinating narrative of the underdog's pursuit of glory into Milan's audacious bid for the Champions League crown. In an astonishing revival of its golden era, Serie A titan Inter Milan has erupted into the Champions League forefront, breaking a decade-long hiatus to stride gallantly into the final. The prospect of their forthcoming match is electrifying. Their journey to the grand finale was no less than a sign of their strength. They asserted their dominance over the city rivals AC Milan with a decisive 3-0 triumph in aggregate. A victory savoured all the more due to the simmering rivalry and shared history between these two Milanese titans. Aptly named the Nerazzurri, the Black and Blues, they carry the mantle of Italian football proudly. On June 10th, the Atatürk Olympic Stadium in Istanbul will be awash with their signature colours hosting Manchester City. Each side presents a formidable challenge and a thrilling game awaits. The last time Inter Milan conquered the Champions League, they did so under the strategic command of Jose Mourinho, outclassing Bayern Munich 2-0 in the 2010 finals. First, let's take a look at Inter Milan's strengths. In the grand orchestra that is football, Inter Milan's symphony resonates loud and clear. Their triumphant march to the Champions League final at Istanbul's Atatürk Stadium is a ballad sung in the language of unyielding defence. Simon Inzaghi, the conductor of this melody, has crafted a combative and resilient team, one that has refused to bow even to likes of Bayern Munich and Barcelona. Inter's journey through the footballing world was assigned to their indomitable spirit. Competing in a group that housed heavyweights, it was a platform that saw Inter emerging as a formidable team. The cornerstone of their remarkable journey has been a defence that mirrors a fortress. Their impressive record of keeping eight clean sheets in 12 matches, the highest in tournaments, is an indication of their defensive prowess. But this narrative is not just about collective strength, it's also about individual brilliance. Talking about Andre Onana, the charismatic goalkeeper has become a shining beacon amidst Inter's defensive bulwark. His goalpost has been a forbidden territory for opponents, a place where dreams of scoring have gone to die. In the adrenaline-pumping knockout stages, Onana has kept the opposing strikers at bay, managing an impressive five clean sheets out of six. This narrative of resolute defense and audacious goalkeeping has been the lifeline of Inter's campaign. Inzaghi's disciplined squad and Onana's stellar performances have emerged as a crucial element driving Inter's resurgence. Amid the constellation of football's bright stars, one celestial body has carved an indelible mark in the expanse of the beautiful game, Lotaro Martinez. The Argentinian maestro has been the vanguard of Inter Milan's offense this season, becoming the Serie A side's virtuoso striker and earning himself a prestigious place in the global arena. Martinez has been a meteor shower of goals in the Serie A, netting the ball a staggering 20 times this season. Only one player, Napoli's talisman, Victor Osimhen, has been able to eclipse this feat. Yet, Martinez's exceptional performance is not a solitary burst of brilliance, but a culmination of his unwavering consistency over the past four seasons, his prolific scoring testament to his resilience and talent. Even with this spectacular performance, Martinez is not a lone wolf on the field. He forms a formidable offensive move with the battle-hardened duo of Eden, Zeko, and Romelu Lukaku. Their synergy and shared football intelligence amplify the Argentinians' natural finesse and capacity, making Inter's frontline an unyielding force to be reckoned with. However, Martinez's most compelling contribution may well be intangible. A World Cup winner with Argentina, he has tasted the sweet nectar of victory in football's grandest stage. Now, on the cusp of the Champions League final, he urges to follow Nerizzurri to harness the same unity, that shared pursuit of glory which propelled his country into triumph in Qatar. There is a certain beauty in the narrative of the underdog, a compelling allure in the journey of those who defy expectations. Simon Inzaghi's Inter Milan epitomizes this narrative. When Inzaghi was appointed in the summer of 2021, his task was clear. 
guide Inter to the last 16 of the Champions League. He surpassed this goal last term, laying a solid foundation for the Nerazzurri's football saga. Fast forward to the current season, Inzaghi and his battalion have done more than just exceed expectations, they've shattered them. They stand on the brink of the ultimate battle, poised to meet in either the English giant Manchester City in the final. However, in this perceived vulnerability lies the strength, the weight of expectations, the overwhelming pressure to deliver sits squarely on their opponent's shoulders, not theirs. Inter is the challenger, the team with less to lose, and therein lies their advantage. They have the liberty to play without the crushing weight of favoritism, the freedom to experiment, to dare and to dream. And so, as Inter Milan prepares for the grand stage of the Champions League final, they do so with the spirit of the underdog, a force not to be underestimated. Not that we've talked about their strength, but let's take a look at their weaknesses and what could hinder their opportunity to win this season's Champions League trophy. Inter Milan's journey this season mirrors the intricate dance of football itself, a compelling mix of triumph and turbulence, glory and grit. While their run in Europe is a soaring symphony of victories, their domestic campaign in Serie A resembles a complex sonata of ebbs and flows. Inter currently reside 18 points behind the unassailable Napoli, who have ascended to the throne of Serie A champions. Their standing of third place in the league, however, paints a nuanced picture of resilience and resurgence. It is a sign of their tenacious spirit, to an ongoing five-match winning streak that echoes the Nerazzurri's refusal to back down in the face of adversity. Inzaghi's men have had to contend with a noticeable inconsistency this term, with losses comprising almost a third of their league games, 11 out of 35. Yet, in this static lies an unexpected silver lining. Their ability to keep draws to a bare minimum, just three, has helped to tip the scales in their favour. It's a subtle testament to their all-or-nothing ethos that has paradoxically worked to their advantage. In the grand theatre of football, Inter Milan stands on the precipice of a realm both thrilling and somewhat unfamiliar. It's a territory etched with the powerful echoes of a past glory, but all to the daunting whispers of formidable opponents. Inter's vice president, Javier Zanetti, a man who held the reins as captain when the club ascended to glory 13 years ago, acknowledges this fact. He subtly expresses a preference to steer clear of Real Madrid in the final, a club that has claimed that awaits. Unknown to him then that Manchester City will ascend to the final. The path that Inter Milan treads is marked by the footprints of golden past, yet the shadow of a modest recent history follows them. Since the euphoria of lifting the trophy in 2010, they have advanced beyond the group stage a mere four times. This record presents a stark contrast to the arrival of the seasoned Manchester City. In the chessboard of football, every formation has its strengths and its nuances. Simon Inzaghi, the 47-year-old maestro at the helm of Inter Milan, has chosen to orchestrate a symphony that unfolds in a 3-5-2 arrangement. It's a bold, counter-current strategy that embraces two strikers, an unconventional approach in the realm of modern football. The formation speaks to Inzaghi's mastery of his squad's potential. His quartet of forward artillery, Laturo Martinez, Romelu Lukaku, Joaquin Correa, and Eden Zeko, stand as the sword bearers in his tactical blueprint. They form a harmonious offensive machinery, each piece complementing the other to unleash a synchronized attacking prowess. However, in the complex ballet of football strategy, every strength brings its own challenge. The tactical decision to rely on wing-backs alone to impart width in the attacking sphere comes with its unique quandaries. This strategic positioning can often funnel the gameplay towards the center of the pitch, leading to a concentrated central battlefield that may prove challenging to dismantle the opposition's defenses. Yet, in this intricate weave of tactics, one mustn't lose sight of the fascinating dynamism of football. A perceived lack of width is not necessarily a definitive constraint, but rather a provocative puzzle. For strategists like Inzaghi, it's a chessboard that beacons new tactics, encourages unconventional maneuvers and calls forth the unpredictable nature of the beautiful game. As the final whistle of our journey today sounds, 
We're left with a tantalizing question hanging in the floodlit air. Will Inter Milan, the dark horse of this race, claim the ultimate glory? Remember, the beautiful game of football is full of surprises and unpredictable turns. We'll be right there with you, watching as the drama unfolds and history is written. If you want to stay updated with a thrilling narrative and many more like it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Until then, keep the spirit of the game alive!